there were control issues. He, he seemed to be jealous and even if she was with friends or something. Yes. It wasn't just like if she was with some guy or whatever. Yes. And about a month before they moved in, they actually broke up, right? Yes, for about a month period of time, yes. And what precipitated that? What brought that on? Was it the control issue? Yes. Had Kaylin had enough? Yes. Kaylin had had enough. She couldn't do anything without him intervening with anything she did. She just blow up her phone yes. if she wasn't there? Yes. Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, the last friend that she was with before, you know, he killed her, uh, she said that the whole time they were together, he would not leave her alone. He called her, and it got to the point where Kaylin, you know, just decided, I'm just going to ignore him. And she didn't get to see her friends very often because, see, she lived in Terre Haute. He lived in Martinsville, Illinois. So she came home, well, just to basically spend some time with her friends. From what I understand from her friend is that the, the night progressed, and the friend said, please stay here, it's late. And uh, she, she told the friend that no, Connor would be mad at her and that she better get back. So she didn't feel the freedom to be who she was, do what she wanted to do. I don't think so at all. What was it about him you think that made him insecure about her? He just thought that she was just this beautiful young woman and he was scared to death that he was gonna lose trust her. Me is trust. Yeah. Did you guys have the sense that he felt like he was trading up with her, that he was over his head with her? Kaylin was very confident, you know, in everything she did. She was beautiful. I think he was thinking that she was kind of out of his league. He grew, like I said, so attached to her. Because I've been trying to figure, you know, from a psychological standpoint, I've been trying right. to think about this too. And if you feel like, you know, I've hit the lottery here. And if she ever has five minutes to be away from me and look around, she's going to figure out she's way out of my league and she's going to replace me in a heartbeat. I'm just wondering if he lived with that fear. He may have, you know, I, and I, I really do believe that he felt like that, that Kaylin may leave him for some odd reason and mm -hmm. just out of the blue. We don't know what happened that evening when he actually did it. We don't know yet if there was an argument between them, you know, and, and he was like, oh, you're not leaving me. This is, you know, and then, then he did what he did. All along, there, there's there been some strong insecurities and you, you could just see it, the red flags. You said you had a mother's instinct that things were starting to get really off track. Tell me about that. Well, I felt like Kaylin was kind of distancing herself from me because I would call her and it would take like, you know, a couple days before she would even get back with me. It was just really tough to get a hold of her. And then there would be times where I would ask to do stuff with her and I'd always say, Connor can come along with us, you know. And she'd say, well, I'll have to wait and see and I don't know yet. And that wasn't Kaylin because beforehand it was like, well, sure, mom, I'd love to do that, you know. But you had this instinct, and it was because she was distancing herself. Pretty much, yeah. Right. And that just wasn't Kaylin because she she loved being around us. She loved being around her family, you know. And you sense that difference. And mm -hmm. and, and the night Kaylin was killed, you, you say that she had been out with a friend, and Connor was blowing up her phone, and she stopped responding. Yeah. Okay, so hours go by and it's getting late. You say instead of staying with her friend, she decided to go home to Connor yeah. because she was afraid he would be mad. Yeah, she had told her friend that she was scared to go back to him. Right. And she tried to get Kaylin to stay with her. So she decides to go home because she knows he'll be mad. And that was one of the last decisions she ever made. Yes. A decision that led to her death.